I'm Rija and welcome to my channel and my art studio. I am an oil painter. I specialize in painting uh, cloudscapes, cityscapes, mostly Arizona because that's where I live. Yeah, this is my in-home studio. When I moved out of my parents' house, I knew I needed to have my own room dedicated to my painting because I just needed my own space for that. You see, it's very lived in. I have I've only been here since May of uh, 2021. It's not completely like me yet. Like I haven't, I like, I want to cover a lot of the walls with my artwork and inspiration for myself. This is as much as I've gotten. This is why I'm, I'm showing it to you. I thought that the very first video that I put on my channel should be a more deep analysis into my studio. I think the reasons that I have all of my things and the things that I've collected over the years. On my Instagram, I show a lot of my studio. Like I have pictures and stuff, but I never really have like one full thing where I explain all the stuff that I have. This is the, the wide angle, this is the corner with like my window. I have the blinds closed so I don't completely dox myself. So I think first I'll go buy my each uh, furniture item first and then I'll go to talk about all the stuff on my walls. So first things first, I think we gotta talk about my easel. So here I am. On the floor of the studio, my, my cats have now joined me. Here's, here's Bailey in the back. She wants to see what I'm up to. Oh, she's gonna get right behind me. Yeah, she is. Hey, girl. Oh, she's not She's not too happy that I, I closed the blinds. Well, yeah, down here on the floor, here is my easel. It was a gift from my parents for my birthday. I'm trying not to get distracted by Bailey back there. It was a big investment for them. Like, this was like, oh my gosh, like a real easel. Before I had this, I only had plasticky makeshift easels, which I'm like so grateful for this. This is like my everything. Like, I don't even know how many times I've like posted paintings on my easel and stuff just cause this is like every, like everything to me. And uh, the studio would not be a studio without my easel, of course. And on my easel, I like, sometimes I like to keep my, my little crystals. Ooh, gotta do this. I think it's like an Aurora uh, quartz. And then this one, my this is a rose quartz that my husband got me. Very beautiful, look at that. I mean, I've always wanted a rose quartz and my husband knows how much I love rose quartz. So yeah, I like to just put them on my easel for no real reason, just vibes, I guess. You know, all I have to do is like set on my easel and it, it just makes it look cool. And I think, okay, the next thing I think we'll talk about is my desk. Next so. we have my glass desk. You might be like, what, what's that about? Why do you have a glass desk? It's meant to be a drawing desk. This props up and it, it goes at an angle. My parents also gave me this when I started college. Like I didn't have anything. So they thought this would be a good investment. And over the years, I've, I've just turned it into just, just a table. I've really just turned it into a table. Like that's just what's happened to it over time. Where I put, I got my, like my mediums for my, my paintings and stuff. Whenever I have what I'm like currently working on, I take it out of the drawer, my paints and my brushes, and I just put it out on top of the table. And then when I'm done for the day, I, I take it down because the, the cats love coming up here and looking out the window and stuff. I have a little cat bed right here. This is um, Bailey's favorite little spot to lay, but I guess Coffee likes it too. So yeah, because of the cats love getting up on this table and the windowsill, I have to use up storage much more than I would before. Like when I lived without cats, I would just like leave all my paint tubes and paint and stuff on, on top of my desk, but I knew I couldn't do that anymore with the, the cats. So here you have a better like angle at it, where in here I just have all my paint tubes. I sort them by their series, basically expensive. So the higher the series, the more expensive they are. For example, over here on, on my more expensive paints, I have my cadmium yellow, which is like, I go, whoop. I use cadmium yellow all the time for my sunsets. Like it's a, like a beautiful, really bright yellow, but it's also pretty expensive. So it's like a series four. So it's all the way at the, the very end with all these guys. And then it goes all the way to, to series one, like your basic raw umber, which is basically like wood. It's, you know, just 
wood, wood, wood paint. I could color code it, but really it doesn't matter to me if the colors are next to each other because I know each paint by color name. Kind of like how Simply Neological, she has her full wall of nail polish tubes and she doesn't keep it sorted by color, which you, you and me, normal plebes, might think, oh yeah, it's sorted by color. No, she sorts it by brand, so it's kind of like that, where it's like, I sort it by the series number, as, but they're all like the same brand. It's, it's Windsor Newton, Windsor and Newton, excuse me. I, someone told me that they are a good oil paint. They, they, I think that they are, so I just, I just never got a different uh, brand. And then here I have my whites. You need white with everything, honestly. So I got my titanium whites, my my zinc whites. I got two different type, two two different tubes of titanium white because that's usually what I use. And here I keep my brushes. These are the main brushes that I use. I gravitate towards Princeton brushes, specifically the red the red wooden kind. Like here I have a long round Princeton velvet touch touch brush. They're really good quality and I've had like these brushes for many years. I just, you know, wash them after I'm done and they do not like lose their quality over time. And in this last drawer, I just keep palette knives. I have, a, I have like three of various sizes depending on how much paint I need to, to mix. And then I have a couple Sharpies, a couple pencils. I only need just like a handful just to, if I need a sign like the back of a, a canvas or something that I have Sharpies. I always need Sharpies. Okay, well next I'll move on. Here we are back down the floor again. And this is me and my little cart thing. It, go, it goes on wheels so it like be moved around. So I, I keep most of my supplies on this. So stuff on the bottom, it, it's so messy. I got my extra paint thinner down here with sandpaper and extra like black gesso that I keep. And I have extra like oil that I mix with my paints. Just like a lot of like the, the stuff you, I use to prepare my canvases for paint, I keep down here. Just cause like I could keep it in the closet, but also it, it, some of this stuff should be like ventilated pretty well. So I like to keep it out here. Plus I, I tend to grab it more often than not. And here I just keep a lot of like basic stuff. I got a tape measure, just to, like double check on what how big stuff is. I got like wall stickies, um, like a paint scraper. I, you know, just like everyday things. Like if I have my phone while I'm painting, it goes right here in the second drawer or like my remote for my TV. It goes right here. Snacks, if I'm, um, if I'm having any snacks, it goes down here. Like, just like stuff like to grab. And here on top, this is usually where my laptop goes, where I put my reference photo for the painting. So yeah, that's my little like doll dolly thing. Yeah, that's pretty good, dolly. Again, I think this is also a gift from my mom. I'm just realizing all of my furniture or like gifts from my parents. Right here, I do have one of my lamps that I use. I put daylight light bulbs inside so I can, when I come in here at nighttime, then I have daylight that I will still be able to, to paint without great lighting. Cause then over here against the wall, I have a old vanity desk that I use as a little TV stand. And then here on top of my desk, I like to keep my weights cause they are purple and they kind of match the colors of my, some of my paintings. Oh, my hair a little bit now that I see it. Also cause it's, right in my line of sight so it reminds me to work out that's helpful and then here that also kind of matches it is this moon that i got from the spirit store i thought it looked pretty cool i got a little class on it look at that and then if we flip around you get to see what i use to put my butt on while i paint it's this gamer chair i don't it's so funny all my furniture in here is like oh this is a gift oh i've had this for ages and then what do I choose to put my butt on? Gamer chair. I originally got this for my husband because I thought he could use a cool chair to sit on while he games, but turns out he prefers our couch. This was just sitting around collecting dust and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna use it to paint on so it will get some use. And here is my apron. You probably you might have seen this if you've uh, been following me for a long time. I don't put paint on this deliberately. This is just years and years of paint. Right behind me is the closet. I put these digital prints of mine on hooks and hangers on the doors just so that like I, they're still like being 
you can still open them. Really no use to showing you the closet. It's just like extra supplies, canvases, gesso, just extra things. If we move from this corner to this corner, then you see this is my vanity. The apartment came with this desk. So this room is very much me because it's got all my makeup -y stuff too. Originally all this makeup and stuff was in the bedroom that my husband and I share and it just felt really like cluttered and crowded in there. You know, and that's the room where you just want to like sleep. You want it to be comfy cozy. And I had all of this like makeup junk on top of my desk. So to, to help my husband out, I thought, I was like, hey, let me just like put all my vanity stuff on that random desk thing that came in the in the studio. I didn't know what to, to use this for beforehand. See, so yeah, that was pretty much everything else in the studio. But now here we are at the Pièce de Résistance. It's my little art wall. And as a little hint, I got my Ariana Grande hoodie and she makes a couple of appearances on my wall. So I thought it felt fitting. I think I'll go one by one with everything on the wall and like give you a little information about it. Oh my God, you can barely see me. I, I like literally have the cheapest tripod ever and this is the, the t I'm pretty sure this is the tallest that it can go. So this is as much as me as you can see pointed upward. So yeah, so starting, I guess, uh, left to right, we got a little print of Destiny 2. Not that I thought it looked special in any way, but my husband and I really enjoy playing Destiny 2. So I was like, oh, let's keep the little print from the CD, the, the game disc, and let's just uh, throw it up here. And up here I have a print of Blackpink. Up here I have Toy Pilots. They do make a couple appearances on the wall. So I, and then right here is the print uh, of a digital painting that I did called Leave the City. So yeah, I did a couple prints for a show because I thought that people might want to buy them and they did not sell. So I have a couple of prints because it doesn't look bad. And here's a, a, a Twin Pilots um, patch. There we go. Here I have a print. I have to take this off the wall so I can read it to you. This is Simon Alexandri Clement Dennis, Study of Clouds with a Sunset near Rome. I thought it looked pretty good. I mean, I see sunsets like these all the time. And then I got this back when I went to the Getty Museum in LA. Okay. Please stick. Thank you. Okay, and then moving down, we have, this is my uh, painting that I just finished. Does it have a title yet? Here, a photo of Rosé from Blackpink. Love her. Here, another patch from Twilight Pilots. And here I have a, a print of a diva, like a casual uh, diva from Overwatch, made by, made by Coffee Cakey. She came to Phoenix Fan Fusion, I think in 2019. And I really love this print and I bought it and I followed her on Instagram. She's pretty great. This is a, a print that my husband got me when back when I think we weren't even officially dating yet, but he knew that I loved Rapunzel. So he went to Disneyland and bought this print. Original artwork of Ever Had a Dream, that's the title, by artist Whitney Paulette. And so this is, you know, a little Rapunzel from Tangled with a little Pascal on her shoulder. Pretty cute. Okay, and then down here we have my, the painting that I did of a Haboob cloud that I saw in Tempe. I really like this painting. All of my favorite colors all put together in a little cloud. And here I have another diva print. Wow, somebody likes a diva. I wonder who that is. It's me. Oh, I love all her work. But yeah, this is from Vicky Sai. Look at that. Look at that hollow. So, so pretty. I love these like casual depictions of D.Va. And here I have some, some more Twin Pilots and another patch, another black pink little sign. And welcome to Above My Head on the main wall. We have a little photo of black pink. Got the black pink the logo for the album, there it is. And then we have another Ariana Grande, but this is the perfume. And then another Twin Pilots patch. So you see, it's like, if you really like focus, just little things I accumulated over all of my music obsessions, artist obsessions. So I just like, oh, I really like her and I like pink. So I just, and I threw it up there and it matches. Like, it just like matches, like, see how it like even matches this house? 
color scheme. You know, it's all about colors up in here. And then yeah, obviously right behind me is a painting that I did uh, in 2020 called Nana's Neighborhood in December. I wanted to make it feel like, oh, this is you going over to a relative's house while the sun's setting. It's just like winter, cozy time. You know, that's, that's just the vibe that I wanna go with. And then right next to the painting, we have a little Arona Grande, again with the perfume. I literally don't even, I don't even have the perfume. The thank you next perfume. I just really liked her the the outfits and for the campaign that she did for the perfume. And here I have another painting that I did. I think that one's called Loop 101 Sunset. That's its name. It's a little five by seven. All three of these are five by seven, so pretty small. And it's the canvas board, so it's not it doesn't have any thickness to it. It's literally just the board. And here I have a draw this in your style from like a mutual that I have on Instagram. Or I guess I guess it's a paint this in your style and so I did I thought it was a fun thing to do love I love 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 the colors of this and then here from the middle of the wall we have the painting that I most recently finished this one's title is uh, it's a good day it's like kind of like a lose to a twin pilot song that I really love it felt like it had like that the vibe of the song and then right here I have like a couple little photos that like yeah, close to my heart here I have a photo of me and my uh, cousin when we went to Disneyland back in 2007 I love Disneyland this also reminds me of a time where I was really honing in on like the color love like I really loved pink so I wanted to whole color like outfit that color so I like to think that that was like m the start of my color love that really became like my artistry and then here Right under it, I have the postcard of the very first exhibition I ever did back when I was at ASU. It was called Eight, a you know, BFA painting exhibition. And this has a lot of nostalgia for me and it shows like where I started from. Like, boom, this is your first exhibition, you know, however many years ago. And like, look at, look at what you're doing now, you know? And then right under it, I have a photo of my dad while he was at Disneyland, very, very dear to my heart. One of these days, I'd like to like recreate his outfit in this photo and take a picture right exactly where it is. So it's like, oh, it's like me and my dad. Here we are back again on the floor is my painting test drive that I made over the summer. Honestly, one of my favorites that I've ever done. Like insane that I was able to make this with my hand. If, if anyone were to be like, whoa, what is Armita do? Like, what does she paint? Boom, this is it, you know, huge. But I mean, I, you gotta talk this way about your own work or else like, who are you if you don't love your own work? It's just like, boom, this is me. This is me on a canvas, like honestly. And then right next to it, I have more black pink. These are my favorites. And on the top, we have Lisa, we have Jenny, we have Jisoo, and we have Rosé. Again, the colors totally match what's going on in this painting, the oranges and the purples. So I had to put them like right next to this painting. And then you want to talk about color matching and then look at the Habu painting right next to it. It's like, what? Like all of this literally looks like so, so much the same. And I don't even mean to, to do that. And lastly, on my little art wall, Again, above my head, we have this painting, which is called Chlorine slash Peoria 83. Also, it says Peoria 83 on it, so I felt like I need to include it in the title. Does someone feel like that? You want to title something, boom, this is what you're seeing with your eyes. You know, does anybody, does anybody artist do that? We're like, okay, I feel like I have to title it this way only because it literally says it. So it's like, if, if anyone were like, oh I, wonder, oh, I wonder what the name of this piece is, but then they try to like look it up. I want them to know, to like be able to find it. So that's why I titled it that way because it also matched uh, Twin Pilots' Chlorine song. And right under it, we have Twin Pilots. And then right next to it, I used to have my prize possession. Oh, my signed Ariana Grande CD of positions. I had it like taped up there with like a, like tape that's not too, too sticky, so it doesn't damage this precious gold that I have. But it fell down, literally, as I was recording this. Of course, this happens right before I'm trying to do a studio tour and, and show people the, the stuff that I have, and stuff is falling off the walls. I'm trying to do something yeah, cool. Yeah, that's my painting studio, more or less. It's a work in progress. Hopefully I'll be able to put more things up on the rest of the walls. If you wanna see anything from me, if you're curious about anything at all, leave it in the comments. 
Like I did go to uh, art college at Arizona State University. So if anyone is a art student or is thinking about going to art college, I do have a lot of expertise because I did do it. Maybe I can do a little like advice video next. If you like this video, make sure to give it a like. Leave a comment about anything you want to see me do next. The, I'm so excited to do YouTube videos and stuff like that. I love to, to chat with you in the comments. Please subscribe if you uh, like me and my work. I mean, look, this is it. And with that, I'll see you next time. Okay, bye-bye. And then here I have toilet pads. Oh, oh my goodness.